Hello. Hello. Yes. Who is this? I don't know. You call me. Who do you want to talk to? Well, what number is this? You're the one that dialed there. Who are you trying to call? I'm sorry. I guess I called the wrong person. Okay. Mira, Angel, this better not be you playing around, okay? Because I'm not in the mood right now. What's that noise? I'm making tostones. Tostones. Sounds like toast. No, I didn't say toast. I said tostones. So what are you about to do? Pero tú eres bien presentado, you know that? You never told me your name. Why you want to know my name for? Because I want to know who I'm staring at. What? <laughs> Mira, cante fresco. I don't know what you up to, but my husband is strong, tough, and boricua, and he don't play that, all right? Don't up. you hang up on me, or I'll cut you like a pernil. Yeah. Oh, my God. For real? Actually, this is an attempt to collect a debt. Am I speaking with Tita? What? Hey, everybody. Welcome back to this vlog. My name is Shaki. We haven't been here yet. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll only like if you like the video. And comment if you like this kind of content, you know? This content of everybody. This is a family channel, so thank you so much for stopping by this channel. But it is early in the morning. Um, my son's at work. Uh, this is his fourth day at work. Um, and let me tell you, he's been coming home every day tired. Wants to go to sleep because he's not used to this. But... Um, he likes it and i love that he's really really comfortable there he likes you know what he's doing basically and so i'm happy about that so yeah this is his first week that he got down with his first job and he's been doing good so far um we came up with a little plan um today i'm gonna be going to the store that finished school and stuff for my kids i'm gonna be heading out i'm going to walmart i'm going to a couple of stores um i'm trying to find him a plastic piggy bank because when he gets paid He's going to put a certain amount of money in that piggy bank so he won't touch it. <clears throat> and he's not going to open the piggy bank until he goes back to school. Um, so he asked me to go look for a piggy bank for him. That's what I'm going to go do and buy some stuff we need for the house. Um, go on a little lunch date with my kids. Go get me some coffees. I don't have no creamer and I need some coffee. Well, I do have some creamer, but um, it's not flavored. It's nasty. I don't like it. Um... So yeah, I'm gonna get some stuff done. Um, and hopefully I go out to the Galveston with my family this weekend. My family got a beach house. Um, they've been over there since the other day. I'm not gonna say exactly what day, but they've been over there. Um, they're gonna be over there for a couple of days. So hopefully this weekend I got work I can go. If I would've knew a little earlier, I would've told my boss I was gonna go on this Saturday, but I didn't know, so I can't, you know, just call in now. But um, hopefully that's where we go this weekend. Um, because it's one of my cousins well i call her my cousin she's not my cousin she she's um she's my my guy cousin the guy is my cousin uh that's his wife but i call her my cousins i don't know if i call her my cousin-in-law or how that goes but yeah all the other girls are my cousins though just one of the girls that i film in my vlogs i've probably seen her a lot of times she's my cousin's wife but um all the other girls are my rural cousins i got a lot of girl cousins but i got a lot more guy cousins so yeah that's my guy cousin's wife <clears throat> and it's her birthday so that's why i got the beach house and stuff so i'm looking forward i really want to go to that she texted me and invited us and i was like i really want to go matter of fact i think i've seen her on my last vlog she's the one that had that that uh crawfish in her hand you know, her name is roxanne <clears throat> it's her birthday so and they get a really really nice beach house i don't know if they know somebody that gets that beach house or they know somebody that owns the beach house. i don't know but that beach house they get is looks like a freaking mansion it's beautiful um I don't know if my mom's gonna go. I talked to her yesterday. Usually, when they do stuff like that, my mom will go because she will like, will like cook and stuff for them. But I'm not sure. But yeah, let's get this day started, guys. I have a lot of stuff to do. I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm gonna be sharing some clips of my son when he went to work and all that. Some clips that my husband got. I do have some other clips, guys. Um, but a lot of my clips, I do cut them short. I don't know if y'all realize I cut them short because there's certain things I don't want to put out there. I let y'all into my life as much as I want to i don't put too too much out there you know you can't just put too too much out there so a lot of a lot of my videos are my nose that they get cut like i cut them short because that's just stuff that i want to keep for myself personal stuff like i do have a lot of other videos of my son that i won't put out there because you know that's just our personal videos but um <clears throat> i would like to share some vlog some little vlogs with y'all that I told my husband to try to record him while he's at work you know this is all memories guys when later on he comes into my channel he looks at my channel he's gonna look at him his at his self working he's gonna be like oh my god i can't believe this it's all memories guys it's all memories honestly i wish i had memories to go back on and look at you know and i don't so 
I'm making it happen with my kids. Let's get started with this vlog. Bro, this is my son's first day at work, dudes. If you just got up, it's you just got up, you know what I mean? Why everybody sleeping? We out here getting this chicken, you know what I mean? You gonna get some breakfast, you gonna get the whole nine yards. Uh, oh, Prince right there under the sea. Look, look at this this guy, my cat. He has this, you know, he, he got this, his little house and stuff like that, but he still prefers to sit under the seat. Like, he don't even wanna get on top of this. But yeah, my mijo. First, his first job ever. He's about to get that chicken. He about to get that money. Like, but time you know, he'll be like, the papa, what size you want? Like, I got you. Like, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm proud of this dude. I'm, uh, I'm gonna record. I'm gonna, I'm gonna record him when he get out of work. I'm gonna show you this is the before, and I'm gonna show you the after, guys. <laughs> This is my son's first day at work. About to get some breakfast. You know what I mean? Mickey D's. I mean, you gotta, you gotta eat good. You know? Can I get ketchup and grape jelly, please? Sure. Thank you, ma'am. All right, off we go to our job. Our job, like. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hi right, guys, so I'll see y'all in a little bit, man. Bye. I'm my son Rico working. I'm my son working. <laughs> my son working, man. You gonna see my son working. Hey, Jeez. Hi right, guys, what it is? First day of work, my son Rico. 6 to 12, you know what I mean? He out there top of the morning getting that bread. Like, this is the only, hey. Hey, I, hey, you know what's crazy? I will say, nah, I'm gonna leave it like that, bro. I don't wanna get in trouble and shit. But hey, my son, he did his thing. First day at work. So, tomorrow, right now we got a power off at the job. So, he was pretty much limit, limited to the, like stuff he was gonna do today. So tomorrow, hopefully, if the power start, if the power back on tomorrow, that's when the real work gonna start. And then we're gonna see, we're gonna see if he likes it. But he picked up, uh, he, he he picked up one bucket as a light bucket. He picked up, oh, that's just pretty light. But he grabbed that DB. <laughs> he grabbed that big bucket. He was like, yo, I don't want no part of that right there. Like. <laughs> It's like 200, like 211, 220. 220 pounds you have to pick up at like 73, 83 pounds, something like that. It's pretty heavy. So you gotta stack them on the pallet, 36. So 12 on each layer. So you got three layers to build. So yeah, working man right here. Work, working kid. I think you see working, working young man right here, you heard? My son, he, he getting it. He's getting it. But yeah, that's my son Rico. He's getting that bread. He's getting his money while everybody looking bummy, you know what I mean? Like, he's doing his thing. So, you almost to the crib, about to eat some papa. He's done for the day. I'm gonna see him go to, I, when I come home at three, this man gonna be in bed. <laughs> uh, but all right, guys, so I'm gonna holla at y'all. See y'all later. Bye. Okay, What's up, guys? Rico. Rico's right there. Oh, Rico, for bringing your job? Yeah. Got a job, job. Hey, get that trash. You throw it out, Lee. Oh. Throw you. That's gonna be your job, not Rico's job. Is he already drained out? And he didn't even do. I mean, he did some work, but he didn't do what he was really supposed to be doing, you know. <laughs> all right, so I have a lot of different games for the kids, and I'm getting all that out of my closet now, so we can play games for like our a long time, center time. Because you know, like I said, I didn't give the kids breaks, so those are the games we have so far. These are all the workbooks that's on top of my um, closet. Remember I told you I have a lot of workbooks up in my closet? Uh, these are not even half of them. We, my daughter already took a lot of them to the <gasps> table. Yeah, look, oh look, and I do these for my kids too, guys, look. That's why I said I need to get all the rest of my books out. I do these little um, behavior little note things every day because you know the kids get prizes. I do get a box and I fill it up um, with different prizes and I let them 
pick out a prize at the end of the week if they do good. So yeah, you see the practice books. We got a lot of practice Maya, books, handwriting books. I got so many handwriting books. Maya. Um, Curry. for different grade levels. So I'm excited to go through all this. Look at all this stuff, guys. Look, what about the planets? I get I get a lot of these copies. See, like this right here, facts about Mars. I have a lot of these, and they come in their own little things. See, this is the keys for it, the answer keys for it. Honestly, I was supposed to do this over the weekend, but I didn't. We had a really, really busy weekend, so I didn't get it done. So responsible of me. But um, right now is a little break time for school. Um, so I said, you know what? Let me go in my closet and get all, all our stuff out. I already kind of organized my binder with all my um, answer keys and stuff and my worksheets that I have for my kids. I do get different grade levels, guys. As y'all know, it does get really, really hard and complicated. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say it doesn't because all my kids are in different grades. They're all in different grade levels, so it's kind of harder. But um, we get it done because, honestly, I, I think it's good that I I, uh, I give my third grader, fourth grader work because my, my daughter's in fourth grade. And I think it helps them out, right? It's like a head start. They kind of know stuff that they're, they're learning in fourth grade. He's learning that he's in third grade because I'm teaching him at home, right? See the little shapes and stuff. I think it's real important for the kids to know every single shape. Because honestly, I didn't even know every single shape. To be honest, I'm barely learning every single shape. Honestly, I have so many of these little books that I got from my daughter um, last year. I have a whole pack of these that are brand new. Honestly, I'm thinking I'm gonna give these to my neighbors. I think she's she's past this level. She she's too smart. <laughs> um, Cause I think this is like little baby work for her. Honestly, it's like handwriting and stuff and. Yeah, I think I think I'm you know little stories inside there. I think she's she's too big for this. So all the all these little pamphlets that I have, and I have a lot of them. I'm gonna give them to my neighbors. I think they'll use them for their little daughter. Look, look at this big old stack of books that I have. Not even books. They're they're uh, work little workbooks. My kids in the background. They mess with the game. We took all of our games out. Look, look at this big old stack I got, and they're all brand new workbooks. I wish I knew somebody to give these to honestly. I'm gonna see if my sister wants them. Cause her kids could use these, but our little ones. Look, oh all brand new books. It's still small brand new. Now the mess, guys. There's another thing too right here, you see? This journal still has a lot of paper. I'm just gonna rip all these out, the ones that he did do. So this is the handwriting from last year that we did for summer. Throw it all out and reuse these. I mean, why not? Like for real, why not? I mean, it's good paper, right? I'll just give them one of them stickers, they can have fun with it and like post it right here, you know, paint it, I mean, tape it right there, glue it right there, whatever, right, whatever they want to cover that up. Still good paper. All right, I found my other big old photo I was looking for that has a lot of work in there. Another thing too, guys, that it's good to help with your kids right now. Cause, yeah. oh yeah, these little packets that I made, I made little work packets. Okay. This is like a whole little packet I did. Is their time, their time is really, really important. Help your kids with their time. All right, look guys, this is a better example for my kids what I had last year for their journals. I'm gonna throw this one out because we already stapled all over it, but see they have the reading log and the behavior little things, the behavior little papers too. See the reading logs, all the reading logs are filled. I, I, I didn't play, trust me, I don't play. I think I'm playing, I'm not playing guys. I'm telling you, help your kids out, look. All her work. This this is my my big girl. Cause she don't play. You got all her work done. See the stickers. <laughs> my kids love stickers, guys. I don't know about everybody else's kids, but it might be little babyish to kids. I mean, to certain people, but my kids they love stickers. Like this paper right here. I'm gonna keep. I don't know. I probably just get more. Yeah, I'm gonna get more copies of it. But look, I like to staple stuff like this at the back of their journals. You see how it helps them spell the, the numbers out and stuff? Because this helps them out because they're like, well, how you spell this or how you spell that? They have their um, their word list, this, their shapes, every single shape. They I, I like to um, staple the back of their journals, you see? The letters in cursive. I found the other one's journals too from last year. Look, Julio, look, see how I told you I stapled stuff, stuff, stuff in the back? That's the reading logs and stuff. And Angelie's, their reading logs and their behavior things and stuff. Their behavior. Um, so 
and their reading logs. But look, I, I'm gonna get those reading logs again. It just you just write right here what the story was about, you know, stuff like that. Because I like to see stuff like that. I want to know they're really reading stories. I don't honestly, I don't sit right there the whole time when they're doing everything. I don't like I, I give them work to do and I check it after. See their their words. They have a their word list in there. The numbers. Because this is my this is my first grader, so I put her numbers. You know, it depends what grade they are. It depends, and then that's what I would know what I was taking. That would help them out. Their letters. She does have a little clock up here too. Because, you know, I'm teaching her time too. And she does, she's really good at time. See the shapes. So yeah, these are their journals. They're going to go in the trash. These are the ones from last year and we're starting all over. Honestly, I'm not throwing these out. I'm going to keep all these. I, I am a hoarder, guys. I really, really am. I keep everything, but... I like to keep stuff like this because honestly, I love to show my kids later on. Like, we got so much work and stuff and like letters that our kids used to write us because I don't know if my kids are the only one kid, only kids, but you know when your kids get in trouble and they want to get their stuff out of trouble? And they want to write you a little note telling you how sorry they are and they're going to change and not ever going to do it again? Well, my kids, they did a lot of they did a lot of that. A lot. And we got a lot of little notes. And to this day, we still show my oldest and he's 16. We still have little notes from him and work from him. We show him. He's like, I cannot believe I wrote that. <laughs> it's just cute. Just memories. Just memories. I don't want to show y'all, I don't want to show y'all the, the little kids, but I used to, and I still do to this day, I like to go to the school and help out and like trap around and stuff, go on field trips with my kids. All their field trips, their first field trips, I went. I was trap around. Mm -hmm. I had like 10 kids, but I did it though. And it was so much fun. I love doing it, honestly. I really, really, really do. That's one thing too that I was looking forward to doing. Sometimes after the week, I really can't do it a lot because starting in July, I'm going to start working more days. Um, um, that's my boss was telling me this past weekend, which I'm excited, but um, I told her though too, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a chaperone in my kid's school again this year. So I'm be like the fourth year that I do it. Um, my son was just telling me about his band. They're looking for chaperones in his band. But we have to travel and like if they go out of town and stuff or wherever they go, I gotta go with them. And we make food, you know, do certain stuff like that. I don't know, I'm looking I'm looking into that. I might be doing that, but I, I'll find some paper right now. I have a couple of them. But I have all the kids that I take care of in the back, but I don't wanna show y'all because I can't show that. But. Yeah, guys, it's a lot of fun. I used to love to go chaperone. I, I like used to. I, I still love it, and, and I'm gonna do it again. But this time it might be with the high school. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm done organizing. I got you got these over here organizing theirs, putting their new words in the back of their journals. I mean their um, binders. She's doing her little um, cleaning all her paper out and stuff. But yeah, look, I got a lot of work already. That. I have from last year, so I don't even have to get too many copies of too much stuff. That's all the work that I have for them. Look. Isn't this crazy? I wanted some watermelons, I came to cut me some. And look, there's a heart right there. I didn't even realize that, honestly. And so my husband came out and he's like, did that heart right there? And I was like, no. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That's cool, though. Right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I thought you did it. I was like, honey, you did that? He was like, no. Right? Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. Yes, guys, I am still eating water, but don't judge me. <laughs> huh? We're at the doctor's office, guys. Me and my husband. We came to get our yearly annual. Let me get my leg and stuff checked out because I know I hurt my leg. And then guess what? We drove over here 45 minutes and I left my ID. Good thing in my purse, I had a picture, a copy of my ID. All right, so we're at the doctor's office already. We didn't get too much good news, but we won't disclose that. But we are heading out of here now. We are far away from home. But honestly, I, I would come to his doctor again. I love him. Like, he was a very, very sweet guy. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. Oh, yeah. Shit pissed me off, for real. Why do you act like that? Like what? The way that you act. You don't, you don't see how you act, why people don't want to be around you? No. Look how you act. Mm -hmm.